Hi everyone, I'm back with another tutorial. We're going to do a Clove 3D tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you a new feature on Clove 7.0 that just updated last week. It's called the Parametric uh, Pattern. Some people don't think it's that necessary. It's, they could have done with other upgrades instead of this one, but I'm going to show you nonetheless. And yeah, so I'm here on my Clove. This is the new logo for it. Um, I like the colors. I don't hate it and I'm going just to put up an avatar so you go on the avatars choose one I like this one yeah so for the new feature called parametric pattern you go under the editor parametric pattern and then this is gonna pop up and literally is just making a base bodice for your pattern. I wish they had trousers, shorts. It's okay, this has the bodice on it, but I wish they had at least the trousers. Uh, would help a lot. Um, but literally you just go through this here and puts the measurements that you want your final bodice to have. This is handy enough if you make if you use clothes to make sewing patterns that you're going to sell or you actually use it as a pattern making tool. For a lot of people that only use this for the digital side of things, like for the actual 3D digital clothes, this makes no sense, like no sense, no difference for them because they don't actually use the proper measurements. If you are making something here that you will use later on to make a physical garment, it is important to be considering the measurements. So this might help you. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think this is an okay update or if it's a necessary update. Uh, so you literally just go through all of it, um, put the measurements in there for the front length, like let's make it 60 or something. I'm just gonna change things here just, just so you can have a wee look. Like I'm gonna put kind of extreme measurements for us to see um, how it's going to look like. So when you're happy enough with the measurements, you can click on create here and this will pop up and you literally put on your 2D window. Obviously I just put random measurements so my front and back don't even match which is great <laughs> but yeah this is kind of how it goes i'm gonna just delete my one and i'm gonna reset it to what they give you um which is probably correct one so without changing anything this is what clove gives you so we can test it up see how it goes um i'll keep the front open so i'm just gonna make a symmetric one for the front and i'm gonna unfold with symmetric unfolding in the back and then we're gonna dress her up if you don't know you come here click on that there uh, arrangement points click on your patterns it's probably easier just to click on them on the 2d okay click on the front and then put somewhere that you think is okay and then the sleeves as well there you go you can turn this off and you can use the auto sewing tool yeah, this is basically what the pattern metric does. Gives you a basic bodice that you can work with. Let me know if you think it's necessary, if it's a good update, if it's not. But I don't really know if everyone's going to like it or not. So let me know in the comments. See you in the next video, guys. Bye!